In September of 2020, the City and Borough of Juneau Assembly appropriated Federal CARES Act funding to assist 135 Juneau artists. In the spirit of the Works Projects Administration of the 1930s era, the Juneau Artworks program reflects the zeitgeist of the public health emergency and will remind us of how our community responded to the COVID-19 pandemic. My name is Mark Mintz and my project is titled Helping Eyes. I made 20 large-scale portraits of health care workers and first responders here in Juneau. When I first came to town three years ago, the first couple people I got close to were, were one worked in healthcare and one's first responder. And uh, just seeing not only the dedication they had for their jobs, but kind of the emotional toll that those jobs took on them. And then when the pandemic started, you know, that, that only emphasized it that much more to me. So when this opportunity came up, I had seen several projects like this throughout the country. Um, and I thought, you know, why not Juno? You know, Juno deserves it too. The photographs are, they're basically headshots. It was important to me to keep my setup very minimal because I didn't know what the situation I'd be shooting in would be, being in a hospital during a pandemic. And so I had a very small flash of black background that I would tape up. I wanted to focus on the eyes of, of these people. The lighting was also pretty stark, contrasty, but I thought it lent uh, a seriousness to what they were doing. I wanted to ask them right before I shot the portrait how they felt being an essential worker during a global pandemic, and I just wanted them to sit with that for a little bit before, before we made the portrait. I didn't want them to feel a need to tell me in words, you know, I just wanted them to sit with it. And um, it was surprising to me, though, how many would just immediately start talking to me about it, you know. And that was kind of special for me. Also really surprising was, was how many thanked me for doing what I was doing. I think I made 126 portraits overall. Ultimately, the final selection was, was based on, you know, the initial reaction to the portrait and then kind of different representation of, of groups. These are people I think already have to sacrifice a certain part of themselves in, in normal times. Um, so when the pandemic started, I just think it, it takes uh, certain types of people to be able to, to keep going like that in the face of, you know, fear. I felt very lucky that these people were willing to be uh, vulnerable in front of the camera for these tight headshots um, because they already do that in their daily lives. I use Canon cameras and lenses. I knew I would need a long lens given the, the, the time during the pandemic we were in before the vaccines had rolled out, um, the social distancing. I used a 70 to 200 millimeter lens. Gave me a good you know, distance from the subject. I would bring in my computer and tethered my camera to my computer so I could look at each image as I made them. Um, also, the subjects would often want to see what I was getting. When you're making a portrait, um, people often don't realize how, you're, how they come out in the photo. And then when they see it, they're often kind of surprised, like, wow, like, I, I didn't know I look like that. I think the masks helped people kind of feel a little more at ease, too, you know? It's just kind of a sliver of their face that was showing, you know? So they weren't too self-conscious about it. I tend to use minimal editing on most of my photography. Um, I rarely open Photoshop. I, I do it, most of my, my editing in a, uh, a 
a program called Adobe Raw. Um, and usually it's just some contrast adjustments, maybe some uh, color correction. Um, but I, I generally wanted to keep these pretty, pretty raw. A lot of times, you know, these folks were in the middle of a shift. And that's, that's how I wanted them to look. You know, if, if their faces were, were red, that's their job. That's, they were in the middle of it, and that's the way I wanted to represent them. Given the, the pandemic, if I could contribute to some recognition for what these people do for us, especially in times like, like this, then I'm happy to participate in that. I'd like people to come away after viewing these portraits just with a, a renewed appreciation for what these folks do for us on a regular basis, day in, day out. Um, the sacrifice they make, I think it's a, an example for all of us to kind of look to and and learn from.